Miss Nova's been long taken outside. Hers fed. My coffee is made. Shit's tasting really good. No sugar. No cream. A little bit of salted caramel. Oh, that's good, man. I think I could drink this without straight sugar and creamer this way. Mm, this is good. This is good. Good morning to all my little trolls and haters. I know you're watching. I see you. <clears throat> oh, I think he gave me a little sore throat. Multiplayer. I got about an hour, hour and a half where I can just fuck around and play around. Good morning, babies. How are you doing, CB? I, 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 as soon as I saw you, Fred, how are you doing, babe? Good morning. Blessings. Did everybody sleep, or are we still waiting, or... How's our sleep patterns doing? Like, really early morning? Yeah, it sure the hell is, I'd say so. There's a one. You about to be going to bed, or couldn't sleep or all right what was that one that i played it was really fun i think it was called that was it war mode oh no i'm gonna go back through these i'm really liking learning different modes it's really fun fred did you get your shirt yet babe if you haven't yet that then they'll most definitely should be there today i could check on the, the shipping Man, y'all, I wish my throat didn't hurt. Look, y'all, I have been watching... Um, actually, here, I'll just switch my screens over. Um, I think it's this one here. I have been watching <clears throat> this Tracy Morgan on his recovery. This was seven years ago. Um... Remember when he was in that really bad car accident um, after he was doing all his comedy tours? Uh, he was in a coma for like, I think it was like nine or ten days or something like that. And uh, they wanted to put a trach in him. And his wife absolutely refused. And then two days later, after she denied that, he awoke out of his coma. Let me tell you, <clears throat> I'm going to share this for anybody that needs inspiration motivation positivity love um and if you're not familiar with our lord and savior our almighty god there's a lot of good useful things in that i'm gonna be um so far i took one part out of this uh with a little clip in it but i'm gonna put little shorts out because this, this shit is just i love me some tracy morgan all right, back to gaming. Highly, highly recommend watching that, though. It's well worth it. You can feel the love in the room between these gentlemen and this one woman. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. Shit will make you laugh. It'll make you cry. Dude, did I just load in this to not even get to play? What is going on here? Can I pick my guns? Look, there's invisible people. <laughs> Aw, oh, did you really? Look, I get up at 1.45. Ooh, for work? Oh, Fred. You sound like my dad. My dad used to get up super damn early. I could have sworn that I sent you two shirts, honey. I'm gonna have to double check. Because I could have sworn I sent you two shirts. 
because you're the one you're the one that told me that you prefer darker colors um because you like to dribble your coffee like i do right you're the one that said you preferred the darker colors my memory is terrible but i'm trying like um the vitamins i've been taking the brain function boosters i've been taking have really been helping with with my my memory loss god is good that's all i'll say because before taking deeper looks into kylie's case like my memory was shit But yeah, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, the first shirt I sent you was either like a dark charcoal or something like that. You should already have that. And then I could have sworn I just recently, this past week, yeah, I remember because I remember writing your name down. I remember uh, just reusing your address in uh, the program. You should have another one that's coming that's, uh... I can't remember if it was a gray or just a darker color or if it was black or what, but I kept in mind in the back of my mind um oh that's right i sent you the grass color one so you have like a charcoal color coming a gray color one coming yeah i sent you that that like um it's like sand colored beige sand color this dude's still here oh yeah he is <sighs> this dude is still i'm like determined to get this sniper but I ain't gonna get him without a sniper yeah so you should have a I think I'm pretty sure I sent you a crew shirt actually let me just I don't care if I get shot right now um let me just double check my uh so um this package that I just sent you actually has so you'll have three shirts Fred um this package I just sent you um, it says I sent you two larges, an LLK, and a crew shirt. I haven't wrote the weight down. <laughs> so I can remember, get an idea of what. Hmm. Oh, come on. Okay, so you have a long live Kylie. Well, you ha you'll be having one of each shirt coming your way. I'm not sure what that little icon is. What is that? Crazy, the other boy is playing the last 30 days, but he's coming around to reality. <laughs> uh, you talking, uh, you, are you talking about, um, is it like 30 days to die or whatever it's called, or is that... Oh, Fred, dude, he wasn't... Oh, I fully understand why you missed my lives then, Fred. I, I completely get it now. You go to bed early so you can get up early. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do like um either wake up lives here while I game. Um something like that because I'm I'm just I'm trying to, you know I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy interacting. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of everything between between my two channels. See, I went to bed at 9 o'clock last night. I figured, man, it's going to be a splendid time. I'm going to lay down because I was tired. I was tired. I was tired. I had, I had done um, a lot of stuff over the past two days. <clears throat> and then today, um, me and Fee are going to hang out again once he gets out of his half day of school. I don't even know what he here, bro. Watch me zap myself. Um, but anyway, yeah, I went to bed at 9 o'clock. And I thought I was going to sleep till his alarm 
went off at 5 30 6 o'clock and I don't know it was like 2 30 2 32 I think is when I looked at my alarm clock and I was like well fuck so I came out here I thought I'd just go potty and get a glass of water and lay back down Nope, I didn't as much as walk out of my bedroom and Nova was like, Oh, it's playtime. Let's, let's hang out. So, Mama woke up. <laughs> and that's been that. He said three minute eclipse nap. <laughs> I love you, CB. <laughs> Yo, you see all the people that, like, uh, like, they s really stalk the shit out of Mish G. So much so that they, like, stalk so much that they find other content creators' channels just waiting and lurking and waiting and waiting for somebody that they don't like to comment in somebody else's channel. Also, they can think they can, like, I don't know, clap at them and, and do something. That's all right. I handle that dumbass bitch. People are weak as hell. Have no minds of their own. And then they, like, the way that they project on you, the way they try to manipulate you and gaslight you, people are weird as hell. And it's really weird. Like, you would think that people would, um... Be like, holy shit, yeah, like, these people are a powerhouse of people, like, really trying to get justice for a deceased little girl, or at least raise awareness and keep conversations going about her. But they get this, like, tunnel vision to where, like, they attach their lips like a human centipede to the assholes of other people. And it literally is. It's like this freaking, um, this little circle of people with their lips attached to assholes they all say the same things been repeating the same ass things think that they're low blowing people been saying the same thing for literally eight months to over a year oh they're on drugs oh you must be bad and it's like no i ain't got a mad bone in my body the only thing i'm mad about is the injustices in our system that's the only thing i'm mad about i don't give people my energy and then when you reply to them and you and and you you really show them how to walk a dog. Try to take them outside because they all got fleas. Um, like they even go the extra effort. Like these people are, like, such tryhards that they continue to come back and like leave comments. Go ahead, go check, go check out my, go check out my last pew pew live. Little Carrie Williams. Some to start saying their name by by names. Fucking weird ass people, dude. <laughs> uh, they make me laugh, though. I gotta say. All right, ain't nobody coming here. That's cool. That's what's up. I'm gonna build that shit. I'm gonna put a bomb on that bitch. It is, it's like high school drama, like, but the majority of them, like, have such low self-esteem, um, can't think for themselves, they got spines that are like fucking wet paper towels, and really just out there targeting people, and then they're like, oh, but look what they did, and it's like little snowflakes. Never accountable for the shit that they do. Meanwhile, they're the ones seeking out people in other people's channels. It's weird as fuck. And their only comeback to it was, oh, you're a stalker because it's, it's freedom of internet, dude. Like, anybody can go to anybody's fucking channel and watch stuff and make mention that, yo, while I was in this one channel, while I was in this one live, you wouldn't believe who showed up there. And that's all that was said. That's the context of it. Calling people stalkers. Meanwhile, they're the ones stalking random fucking people just to see if that one specific person that they're targeting made a fucking comment. It's weird as hell. Fucking weird ass bitches, dude.
and then like I clap back at the dumb bitch and literally like the little parrots they just repeat the same thing that old gutter mouth Megan has been I mean she's been saying it nothing new nothing original Come on, bitch. Bitch. And like, it's really funny when you just, you know, you mind your business and these people come to you. Like, they come to you. Talking about, oh, but you. Sit down, little snowflake. You might melt. Stay right there, bro. Trying to, but this motherfucker. Bitch. I don't even care, bro. Tell me I'm in the wrong place. I don't even care. I'd rather five in here and need to troll away. It's like high school drama for them all. It really is. I don't have time to go to other people's live chats. Unless I fuck with you heavy, unless I have absolute love and respect and compassion for you. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, if you're not entertaining me, if you don't have something original, if you don't have something to educate me with, I'm not going there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not engaging, I'm not entertaining it, I'm not giving it power, I'm not doing any of those things. They just come to you. Like, and that's the thing, is like, if you stay focused on what you're doing, like the, these these people that think they're trolls, that they think they're making a point. Yeah, you're making a point, all right. You're making a case in court. That's what you're making. Go ahead, keep fucking around, and find out. Oh, pew pew, like a gun. Pew 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 pew. That's why it's pew pew. That's what I call it. Pew pews. It's, my, it's squirrel terminology for shooting. <laughs> there's there's no hidden behind it, Fred. I should make one. That would be funny as hell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's just, it's really weird how these people that attack people, like, literally seek people out. Like, they tell on themselves right away. You can see it in their words and their manipulation tactics, like, in their self-projections, exactly who and what they are. And that's why I'm going to be making clips of this Tracy Morgan stuff, because, I mean, he says some brilliant-ass shit in here that I figured I'd share with the masses, in case y'all haven't, haven't watched it. All right, let me try this again. I ain't even fully awake yet, y'all. I don't even about, what, not even a half a cup of coffee in me? Ooh, I had to work on that. How is it red, bro? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Joy. Blessings, baby. How you doing? I love you. It's good to see you here. Yeah, you get some sleep, honey. Sleep is important. Super important. I slept, like, even though I only slept for, what, five, six hours? Dude, I slept so hard. It was really nice. Oh, that's, what is that done? What is that, Pew Pew? Oof. Yeah, you, you drift into some good ass sleeps, girl. May you wake up feeling refreshed and anew. What 
What the fuck, dude? Come on. Fuck, dude. Look. Me too, Joy. I feel you on so many levels on that. Yeah, when I get it. Most of the times, I kind of just like push myself until, I mean, not utter exhaustion, but sometimes. <clears throat> but you know me, I like to dance on a fine line. <laughs> Ooh. Where did my fucker at? Ooh. Ooh. Mm hmm. Oh, this guy right here. No, you ain't. He thought he was a rocket launching somebody. Now I remember this map and what we're supposed to do here. Now I remember. Come on, bitch. Oh, come Oh, he was behind me. <clears throat> I'm kind of excited to wake up at this time anyway, because that means I'm gonna have a nice long day. Be really productive after, you know, I fuck around and play around. I just... I need to ease into waking up. Ooh, you got a headshot, bro. I'm like, you down too, bro. Blocked by what, bro? Uh-uh. What is this motherfucker doing? Mm-hmm. What, dude? I definitely shot him. Come on, man. Oh, come on. My kids go back to school tomorrow and it will be rough for them. I'm sure it's going to be. When I do my prayers and meditations this morning, um, I will definitely keep your kids and their friends in my in my prayers, honey. I hope they continue to get the love and support that they need. We'll probably get sent home after two hours today due to no truck to unload. We really only have two to three of our receiving crews on Mondays. Yeah, is it going to be at least worth that two to three hours? Because nothing sucks more when you got a long ass fucking commute. <laughs> and it ain't like the the hours you work ain't even worth the the length of the shift, the or isn't even worth the the gas. How the fuck am I way over here? Like, this is weird. This is weird. I'm over here. Oh come on, bro. Mistype rarely have a truck Mondays. So you saying that reminds me of when I used to work at UPS. Oops. I go in some days, they'd be like, oh, you're on this stripe belt. You got all the Kentucky trucks. And it's like, it's a nightmare to be trying to deal with three of the biggest load trucks what return to where and then I expect one person to deal with three trucks that their chutes are always blocked and shit and then there are some days you go in and you, your trucks missing yeah let's let's go let's go down to the purple stripe belt let's go down to the gold belt and see if it ain't there you know and by the time you end of your shift comes along you've been sitting with your thumb up your ass twiddling your thumbs trying to go find um, what the hell did they used to call the the oversized packages? There was a name for them. Oh, enter heavy tank? I don't mind if I do, bro. Let's go. Why isn't nobody driving this, though? Somebody want to drive me? Oh, we don't need to. What the hell am I doing? You dumbass bitch! Come 
Fuck yeah, bro. All right, you getting that one. I'm gonna go ahead out this way. How many times I gotta shoot these people? <gasps> That's not too bad. That's not too, too bad, but yeah. At least you have it sorted to where you need to have so many hours to cover your gas. That, uh, see, that's bullshit if you're only there for like three hours. And two of them is going towards your gas. Damn, bro, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but hey. Alright, I'm gonna load a different loadout for this part. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, let's try makeshift. Uh, 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 this way. Ah, oh, frig. Penal code 422 PC. Criminal threats law in california megan cole said she'd hit me with a baseball bat oh well i give two craps about her and i don't imagine she'd want a record at 45 yeah i hear that well no, i just it's it's so weird to me miss g how they literally stalk literally stalk other people's channels just to see if you go and interact with them okay that's stalking <clears throat> And then here's you with your freedoms to go to other channels, okay? It would be different if Carrie Williams came into my chat and and just documented and told people, hey, you won't believe Miss G's all up in SoFire's chat. But no, no, they, like these people play their fucking cards so stupidly that I... <clears throat> I'm not that bitch that's not just gonna keep letting it go and go and go and go and not call it out. <clears throat> oh shit, I went in his wrong thing. But yeah, these, these people are fucking nonsense. And then the way that they... They do the things that they do, and then they try to project it on you by fucking manipulation, by twisting it, like, they got me fucked up with someone else. And then they say weird shit, like, um, <clears throat> how the hell did she say it? I can't even remember, because that's how much I care. Um... Oh, shit. She had said something along the lines of, don't hold your breath, uh, waiting for me to care. And it's like, bitch, I never, that was never, that's no, no, I don't wait for people. Are you kidding me? I've never waited a day in my life for nobody. Shoot, especially if you're asking me for a ride somewhere, <clears throat> and I gotta wait for you, I'm either leaving without you, or you're gonna, gonna be finding another ride. I don't wait for nobody. I have patience, don't don't worry on that. I got patience when it comes to injustices, but that's that's the only thing I got patience for. <laughs> I don't have time to tolerate people. I address it and move on. But from now on I'm gonna start I'm gonna start saying them by name. Start making a wall of shame. And then when other people see the same patterns with the same group of people that all hang out with each other and go stalk all these various channels to seek out their target. Other people are going to look, they're, they're, they're painting the paths of their own characters and exposing themselves while doing it. Like, I don't even know, you guys do the work for me. You bring yourself to me. Look, Larissa's out here fucking making up shit about people has no receipts on anything that she's stating, on the grounds of what she's stating. Meanwhile, that dumb bitch, <clears throat> can't even say dumb, cause she, I mean, she's both dumb and fake, but these same people that hang out with the people that they do, they all do dirt on one another. These emails that Larissa sent me, attaching all of these screenshots, 
about all these people's dirt that she can she now hangs out with is fucking so laughable y'all they all got fleas giving each other fleas over and over and over and over again and they like it they like the manipulation and i i see it i see it pouring off in all of the the chats that they go into all the comments that they make that you know bir birds of a feather i mean they flock together they act like one another. You can t you can tell by a person's demeanor and the words that they choose exactly what channel they come from. Talking about oh, but them squirrels that that squirrel she sent everybody here. No fuck I didn't. No the fuck I didn't. I'm gonna need you to prove it. And then you got that other dumb bitch who one makes false allegations, which I'm gonna need you to prove that that I have ever said anything racist. Or that I've directed anything towards you because I never knew who you were so you inserted yourself to play the victim to manipulate people she goes <laughs> and the last thing that I ever read from her and that's when I realized exactly what she was about <laughs> bro in the very middle of her fucking community post she says she don't even she don't even pay attention to the Kylie Rodney case y'all meanwhile I have two emails from her that the whole reason why she was reaching out to me is because she had an inside scoop from a trucky local on the Kylie Rodney case if I would just let her in my discord and I didn't and she got big mad so then she thought she was gonna make a short to try to trap people but only trapped herself to prove that she's about the dumbest bitch on the internet. She's a try hard, try harder. And then she goes on to make all her videos about little old me, somebody she don't care about. Look, it looks like you care. You care enough to wake up every single day and try to make a video about me. It says more about you than it ever will me, honey. And then I just keep throwing names out. Today I'm gonna start calling her Alexandria. I know who her name, what her name is. TF told on her. The day that he struck my channel, I knew it all. I know all. I just, I keep my cards, you know? I ain't putting that shit out there. I'm smarter than that. And then she continues to make excuses for herself of how she found a loophole by putting a space in a, look, and she's like, I didn't put it out there. It was already out there. Bitch, you made a whole video. You went through and wrote an entire description, wasting your time on me. Somebody you don't care about. Waste, wasting all your time to go through all that extra work. I hope you're getting paid good, honey. Hope you're at least getting later paid for it. Shit. I mean, that's just, that's all a whole lot of extra work, all for nothing. All for a case that you care nothing about. Look, and then she goes on to write a description to put this link to a forum from 10, that's the best she can do. That's the best sleuthing skills that she has because she can't find anything else on me. The best she's got is to dig up somebody's past from 10 years ago, 10 years ago, while I'm staying on current events, right? <laughs> 10 years ago, when I already addressed this, there's a video out there. Matter of fact, Inquisitive, <laughs> which is the same person, don't worry, honey. Remember that comment you made under that video that addressed that a year ago? No, I don't forget anything anymore. But she was in that same video, and that's why she got blocked from my channel is because of the comment she made in that video. And all she can pull, the only thing she can pull right now is, oh, that squirrel, she's so racist. Prove it, bitch. Prove it. Prove it. Not no clip job, not no slice and put it together job. Prove it. You ain't got a fucking leg to stand on. And if you ain't got no legs, that ain't nothing. I ain't trying to jab at you um, lacking either. Like these people, like, they go to, like, they are tryhards. They are little nobodies. Look, dude, she's had her channel for, I think like seven months now. Just barely got 20 subscribers. <clears throat> I made this alt account not even a month ago. And I'm already up to 216 now because that, that Carrie Williams, I, I'm pretty sure she unsubscribed. <laughs> uh, thinking I won't start a wall of shame. Don't worry, I am. Every comment like that, I'm going to address. Unless it ain't worth my time, then I ain't... I ain't.
Me either, Mishti. <sighs> I think a lot of people volunteer to have TNT strapped to them and how much someone has n to not give a fuck to step in that position. Well, it's because they have no self-respect. They have no fucking dignity. And it's, it's starting to look like they have very little, if not any, fucking self-esteem. And clearly, if you're not doing it for somebody, you're doing it for a profit, for a reason. There's a reason these people are doing what they're doing. It cannot be simply because we... Play a mirror back, we play it all back. Like, and that's the weirdest shit, y'all. Remember when I first started my channel and I started putting little clips out there and they were like, but no, but no. You can't just put a clip out there. People won't get the full context of it. And then I go and put the full video, the full live out there. And then, oh no, Squirrels is an asshole for doing exactly what you, you asked. To show the full fucking receipts. That's right. I got receipts. I just sit on them. It's fun too. Because look. I don't owe anybody on YouTube a fucking explanation. Y'all want to take it too far. I'm just going to hand it to a lawyer. Give them a little money. You know. And let them handle it. And then it's funny. Because I put little things out there. That they just can't let go of. Or they hold on to. Simply because I know exactly what I'm doing and then they make videos about it and I laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh It's great. It's great But thankfully YouTube has this beautiful fucking feature to where if people at mention you You just turn that shit off and poof they go away That's all What's up Michael? Good morning, babe. How you doing? Much love to you many blessings Look, and what's really funny, the funniest bit about it, is BX Beast Boy loves reviewing the fucking dumb shit on the internet. And when he gets a whiff of it, <laughs> uh, I hope he drags people. Because, dude, I love his content. I fucking love him. It's funny as hell. Bro, why do you keep telling me I go in the wrong spot? Weirdo! I don't understand. Look, if I'm just in that area, they must be spawning. I know, and it's really, it's, I've never in my life met a group of people that get so offended when you say, Kylie Rodney. Look, and before uh, I blocked her, and I won't be going back to her channel, not for any reason. There's nothing, there's nothing there worth entertaining. Um, I made sure I screenshotted all her little community posts, and in one her one of her community posts, she tried to claim <laughs> that I'm copyright infringing on a song that clearly can't be copywritten because there's another dude that is alive that has half rights to it. If he wanted to copyright it, he could. I just keep letting these people talk because it's funny as hell laughing at them. It's good. It's free comedy. I love a free, free good circus, you know? Three ringed. Alright, I gotta get back on this and... Yes! It's not about YouTube anymore. And oh, already have Shan and I left three page comments for Ryan up church. That's what's up. No, and, I, and that's the thing is like, 
the more these people continue to do it, I 100% see with my own eyes why Ryan has said the things that he has said. Oh, I love Fang Gang. That's what's up. That dude, like, he's family, you know what I mean? He's he's the type of family that I fuck heavy with. I don't know him on a personal level, but I tell you what, I know a good soul when I see one. And he's just, his, his, his sense of humor is, it's on point. Like the shit he used to say about the flarer, y'all. You... <laughs> oh, shit. Don't don't say that they'll somehow try to say that you're you're racist, CB. Can't stand when people pull that fucking race card. I don't care what color you are. If you're a troll, I'm gonna treat you as such. You know. Make a tr a trollophobic fucking shirt. Fucking weird ass people, y'all. Oh, I just I died. Pew, 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 pew. Mm, Bitch! Oh, do I have the cartoon? I didn't know I had a cartoon. The cartoon. Yeah, once you, once you, once you threaten bodily harm, that's it. It's, it's, that's game over. You can't do that. Especially with objects like bats. Yeah, that's... That's a big no-no. Look, I, I love knowing people hate watch me. Like I said, it, sa it says more about their character and the lives that they live or lack thereof. I got too many hobbies to be stay attached to fucking the internet. Oh no, the internet hurt my little feelings. Oh no. I don't have time for all that, you know what I mean? <laughs> People out here getting offended for the sake of getting offended. Always looking for problems. Create their own problems victimize their own fucking selves and then want to try to blame it on other people it's fucking laughable it's laughable look you don't miss g that person i hooked you up with you don't even have to worry about waiting for her to lift your strike all you do is take you 40 little dollars you let this man know this this and this and he'll handle it off right for you. Right for you. What it is, is they... They put those strikes in. In hopes that you will counter-strike. So they can in turn get your real name. Your real address. And all of those things. Thank goodness for a P.O. box. You know? I don't care if they have my phone number. That shit's easy to change. Shit, at this point, I don't even care if they find out. They still haven't. Like, and this is the thing. That, that lady. That wackadoodle lady. She claims she's the one that wrote my address on this paperwork. That I'm, It's been almost 30 days now, y'all. I'm still waiting for something certified mail. Megan should know the people that she's having try to sleuth for my address. You should stop relying on them. Because they're they're still pulling up addresses from, from years ago. Just like the information that they're trying to pull out knowingly. Um, it's, it's 10 years old. Y'all are behind the times. Mm-hmm. 
the address that this lady is claiming is mine was two moves ago. Look, I can move again if you guys, look, I have no problem moving if people are putting my child or minors at risk, none whatsoever. And like, that's the only takeaway that that lady is even recognizing is, um, oh, but somebody else put it out there and I'm the one that wrote it on this lawsuit that, I mean, it looks fake as hell and all it is is a copyright. You know how easy those are to fucking fight? I'm still waiting for that shit. I'll fight it. Trust me. Just send it to me. You guys claim to be so smart, but like, you still ain't like figured out my address yet? It's because it's not on the internet. The only way you're going to get my address at this point is if you are an attorney or if you're breaking federal laws. But if Megan wants to get a hold of her uh, little copyright attorney, have him give me a little call up. She has my phone number. All I'm going to need him to do is email me proof of his credentials um, with his uh, registered number as a, as an agent and we can move forward like adults do. Till then I got 60 days till my strike is gone. There's nothing on my channels that you can strike me for nothing. None of my content on my channel is yours. That includes you coming up to my panel. I think she came up on my 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 channel in like a one year time period. Don't quote me on it. I want to say something like three to six times. It might could be longer than that. Who the fuck knows? But she made the choice to type in chat. Give me the link. Drop the line for blank in my chat. She came to me and asked for the link to get on my panel. Therefore, my content. That's okay. That's all going to come back out, too. I'm just sit by, you know, let 60 days. <clears throat> In the meantime, I have Rumble. I ain't worried. Look, these people that claim to be their frenemies got playlists with her fucking videos in them could be the same people she's letting log in her accounts and do the shit she's doing. She's dumb as fuck. Like, dumb as they come. And that's alright. We're, we're, I'm gonna start doing, um, making some cartoon skits, because I love me, love me some Saturday cartoons. Love it. I've canceled some um, some things that I don't use, and um, I found this really cool AI tool that you can convert audios to, um, you can buy the license, and you can convert it to somebody else's voice, which will likely be cartoon characters, and we're going to have a troll -a -lo 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 good ass time, and there ain't a fucking thing you can do about it. Extended email they already have and not try to file motions if any want to play and everyone knows I do not give a fuck. Oh, I know, Mishti. I mean, you do give a fuck, but you don't give a fuck about, you know, I mean, they, they made their own beds. Motherfuckers got fleas and bed bugs and fucking cockroaches and yuck. With friends like that, who needs enemies? Good for them. 
they're right where they belong. They have all the people in their corner that they deserve. They're all just like one another. No growth, no purpose, nothing. They're irrelevant. Like I said, you go to that social blade, it'll, it'll tell you the truths about their YouTube channels and where they're headed, where they've been. Uh, consume made sure to remove any content with anything from my channel so, so there's nothing no it's still there do you remember when i did multiple lives um where i went through and i just let your shorts play or stuff like that no there's there's it's still out there mm -hmm. and then also um hold on let me let me open this folder Hmm. Oh, hold on, I gotta my external hard drive. YouTube. Let me see this one file folder. Properties. I have forty-three point six gigabytes. That's four hundred and twenty-six audio videos. I ain't, I ain't even worried. I ain't even worried. Look, as it's it's as simple as over time. People either sending me privated playlists or unlisted playlists, um, DMing me, emailing me, just dropping me a link saying, hey, can you download this? Hey, can you back this up? And all I literally do is go into this paid program, put, all I do is just literally control V and boom. I got it all. I don't need to, to clip your shit. I don't need to do none of those things. I have the full context of exactly what was said. Even the stuff that, like, went down on Kristen's channel that they thought because they deleted it that it just makes it go away. No, it doesn't. The only one I'm not going to drag into their bullshit is Killshot. And I realized that wackadoodle, because he finally said enough is enough, I'm separating myself from these toxic fucking deranged people, um, and went and focused on him. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him that that's, that's what he did. It's one of the smartest things that he could have done. I don't care if he, you know, still kept making those funny ass videos about me, because the sh I mean, give it to the man. The shit that he used to make on me, dude, I still laugh, you know? It's funny. He's, he's funny. <clears throat> but yeah, I ain't, ain't going to drag him in that. He came to his senses. He and I spoke. He said his piece. And he absolutely agrees, agrees with me. He sees what those people are. But yeah, that wackadoodle lady. The name I shall not say. Um, I see what she's doing. That's fine. Keep doing you, boo-boo. And the thing of it is, I don't even have to set it in motion. She's doing it all by herself, all by herself. <laughs> post after post. Like, the last time that I was at her thingy, just to document before I left, um, was something like, she had like seven community posts about me. In the matter of like two or three days. Like seven community posts. Long Jeff rant. You know how Jeffy Pooh used to ramble on to his own self just to hear himself type? long fucking long fucking posts okay then you go in and you look at her fucking shorts and her videos and they're all about me it started out with just you know the two to try to trap people and then it quickly escalated to video after video after video about me keep doing that babe that's fine you do you you wouldn't be shit without me just admit it and then i look at her her main account inquisitive and you can see where Social Blade will give you a negative score when you've had a video struck down or it, it's had a great impact on your channel. It all, it all tells on you. I love the internet, man. It's free information. And I'm free to talk about it. I don't need to use other people's content to have my own content. I don't. All right, Fred. You have a blessed day, babe. 
Be safe. We love you. Why is my shit doing this? All right, there we go. All right, I want to try this 20, what the hell is it called? Six star 24 seven. I'm gonna try this one next. All right, I got a half an hour. And I notice what these people do. It's to try, it's to try to one, discredit you, defame you, put all this negative, like if you see what they continually put out, like you can see the patterns of what their content is about. It's, it's, not, it's not hard for YouTube to see. You know, it's really not. It's right there. Um, but like, just the, the leaps and bounds that they go to. It's what you call a try hard. Try harder. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to focus on this. All right, so, so what, six star hard point? You guys want kill confirmed, really? All right, okay, you win. But they get mad at you because you don't focus on them, because you don't give them attention, and that's why they do it. Anything to distract you away from the truth that you're hovering over. And I notice the closer I get to the truth, the more I ask questions, the more I expose what we should be talking about, the more they do it. Well, if you weren't there and your kids weren't at the party, if you're not Kylie's family, you're not Kylie's friends, then what are you here for? Like, and I love how they try to speak on behalf of Kylie's family and Kylie's friends. Like they know anything about anything. Because they don't. Clearly. Look, if there is ever something that Lindsay or Daniel or David would want me to take off of the internet within my freedoms as an American citizen, I have no problem trying to respect and honor people. But here's the thing. The only person that is a victim here is Kylie Rodney. That's it. That's why people, like, they lose their fucking minds. Like, literally lose their fucking minds anytime Ryan Upchurch, like, takes a second of his fucking time. And it's literally, it only takes, like, that's 10 minutes. Out of all the time that he puts into his fucking music, his career, his family, the people that he loves, his supporters, like, all that that man's doing. And, like, he takes 10 minutes out of his time to address something in a fucking video. And just because he said the name Kylie Rodney, people lose their fucking minds. And it's like, why? Why? If you weren't at that party, if you have nothing to do with it then why are you acting so fucking weird and sus? Like, why? Why be all that extra? You do, like, these people don't understand that there is laws that protect people. You will not infringe on my freedom of speech, expression, or to do whatever I want, as long as I'm upholding the law. And because they can't find anything to try to discredit me with, because remember, like, at first it's, oh, she's on drugs, and oh, remember, she's crazy. I've seen her medical records, this, 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 and this. She's admitted this. Like, that's the best you guys have. That's really the best, best you have, okay? When all else fails, the best they can do next is to dig up an article in a forum from my failed business from 10 years ago. And then she says it's not misinformation. 
if it really happened. Honey, it is when you knowingly, knowingly, knowingly know that the stuff that you included in the video with your description is defamation. She acts like she knows the fucking law all while breaking it. Dumbest cunt in the word goes to that bitch right there, dude. <laughs> And people like that think that they're above the law. You just keep, 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 keep digging. Keep doing, keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna let you. That's your freedom of speech. Till it's not. All they can do is make things up. Which is also like when you make an allegation against somebody that you have no substantial proof or evidence of why you're saying what you're saying. why a tutor has the number to a child's parents phone and calling that person a pedophile it's illegal i hope people that make claims like that have the receipts to back it up other than some fucking newspaper article that led them to say the shit that they said i hope you have substantial proof to back up that claim Look, and I really thought Larissa was smarter than that. She's really not. She's about as dumb and fake as they get. And the thing of it is, is the shit that she's putting out there, and she herself is working with children. Yikes, y'all. Her YouTube is failing. She's losing subscribers. The only people that support her are the, the, it's the drama community, okay? And if TikTok does not sell to an American company, TikTok will be gone and banned in the United States in the next two months. She will go back to being a little nobody. Oh, shit. Shit, I shot my own teammate. I feel so bad. Sorry, bro. Like, and it, you can tell these people that are grasping at things because they're so fucking irrelevant. Like, they're grasping at things to put out there. They don't care at whose expense it is. They don't care the laws that they're breaking or what, what you know what I mean, acts they're committing. They don't care because they have such targeted tunnel vision that they don't realize while they're doing all this dirt, they're burying themselves. And then all they can do is make threats back. Will you? Will you? Good way to deflect. You keep doing that. Keep deflecting all while digging your own fucking hole. Fucking weird ass folks. Dude, and it's just, it's really odd to me how these people that were so pro justice for Kylie think they cracked the fucking case because they're just repeating something that Doug Bishop said <laughs> all while knowing that it, there's more to it than that all while knowing the same shit that you're claiming we're saying is the same shit you used to say too these same people that folded on an innocent 16 year old girl folded on her to go lie with the people that they've dug all this dirt on. Yeah, they are self-snitches. They tell on themselves and each other, and it's glorious to watch. As if, look, y'all can't tell me when you see like a train wreck that you're not gonna look, that you're not gonna take pictures, that you're not gonna document it. People do, that's what people do on the internet. I don't have time for all that. People know that I love collecting data. Um, and I don't mind taking $60, buying a couple more terabytes of a external hard drive that I can plug in, put all the data on it, unplug it, and carry on about my fucking day. I heard about that machine.
Look, and I don't care. Like, and that's the thing is like people will actually waste their money. Since remember, like we laughed about it when we were trying to gift actual people that support Scrolls on Fire, um, trying to gift our supporters memberships, and it so happened that it turns out it'll even gift memberships to people that lurk on your shit, even if they've never commented, even if they never come into to the live chat. Like it'll still gift people, and then like it's weird because when they see other people succeed or something happens they gotta steal it and act like it's theirs like like yeah it's 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 fucking weird dude it's fucking weird they're weird ass people ryan up church is right you can see the fucking patterns they all exhibit them all right Michi. yeah i haven't heard from cmy in a while and look I think she's starting to realize, like, what type of people those they are. Meanwhile, like, and I feel bad for her. I don't judge her. I have no beef with her. All while these people are doing these whispers in her ear about me. And I'm sure there's days that she's like, man, like, I really feel bad that I ever believed, like, what these people were saying about her, you know? Anytime she's ever emailed me and asked me for something, and y'all know that I, I really suck at texting people. I really suck at responding to emails. People let me know. It's not anything that I'm willing to change. I like to detach from the internet. Enter net. It's, it's, it's a net that will, I mean, it's, it, the internet can be toxic. It's super important that y'all take downtime to spend time with yourself, with God, with your friends, and with your family. Yeah, bad publicity is bad for business. And that's what I've just, I have keep keep trying to give the best advice that I can. Like, when you put stuff out there on the internet as a content creator, all while trying to do the things that you do, exposing things to make people be accountable for their past that they've already dealt with, um, they deflect away from their own accountability. And like I've said, there are channels, there are influencers, there are people out there that have lost jobs, their careers, over lesser things. How's my baby up already? Oh no! Sorry, he's gonna be getting a shower. Yeah, and YouTube, like, it really reminds me of Pro Project Mockingbird. Go look into Project Mockingbird. Look what's going on YouTube. Just be aware of, you know, what goes on even in YouTube. And YouTube allows it to happen. But, I mean, I guess that's part of the terms of service that we, we sign up for. They, I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're a monetized channel, you're, you're making them money with every little click. That's why what you won't see is this this channel here ever being monetized. This is this is for shit's giggles fun. And dragon people. I'm I'm to the full extent of the law, I'm exercising my freedom of speech on this channel. What I've realized is what I'm not going to do is what I've built for Kylie Rodney and the injustices to so many people in the Tahoe region. You know, not limited to Michael Shane Youngers, Trinity Bacchus, Mark Sanchez. I mean, the, the, the list, just, it, it, it's, it's a never-ending list of, of injustices. Um, I'm gonna make sure that that channel stays focused on what its purpose is. This one here, I can give a fuck less. And look, and I'm just like, I'm real raw and unformatted on this channel, and in less than, like, what, two weeks? I already have over 200 subscribers. 20 of them are probably those little fucking internet trolls. That's cool. Eventually, they'll get bored and move on. Maybe they won't. It's just, some people thrive on toxic environments. It's okay. It's okay to admit that, you know, you're toxic. It's okay to admit that you need a therapist. It's okay that you need to go hug a tree. Just admit it, you know? 
Shit, you don't even have to admit it out loud. Admit it to yourself. That's the most liberating thing. It's the most liberating thing. When you admit to your own self, you know, and grow from it. I just deleted five fucking times shit I wanted to say. Ah, oh, CB. I, I honestly, I don't know what it is, Rando, but I'm gonna address it all I want on my channel. And it's and what it is is it makes them mad that they that they can't stop me. They can they can keep trying to strike me. They can keep doing whatever they want to do. You don't like me now, shit. I think I'm like 30 or 40 people away from going live on Rumble. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Just you wait. Damn, what's this gun's wonky? No, well, and that's the thing. It's the same group of people. So let's say, okay, you have a group of, we'll just say 20 people. If those 20 people in turn make five accounts each, that's 100 people. There's, there's their numbers. There's their numbers. They're fucking irrelevant. Their channels are fa failing. And they'll do anything and everything grasping at fucking straws. It's Bidenomics, y'all. <laughs> it reminds me of what's going on with, like, the Young Turks right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit's fucking hilarious. You gotta laugh about it. Oh, yeah. What's coming for Rumble? The content that I'm gonna be bringing y'all on Rumble. Some of y'all may have heard it before. Some of y'all might just need little reminders of just how toxic and malicious with malice intent these people are. And all I'm going to do is just, it's just mirrors, y'all. No smoke, all mirrors. And they think that I do this shit off of donations or my subscriptions? No, I am damn near $9,000 in a fucking hole doing what I'm doing to make sure that I can, you know, keep doing what I'm doing in the name of Kylie Rodney. That's fucking honor right there, y'all. I'm proud of what I'm doing. That's what's up, Miss G. It just, it, it sucks for people that if TikTok doesn't sell. Like, there's a lot of those, you see those people that do the, the, creepy TikTok reviews and stuff like that. We were talking about this the other day. Um, all those people are downloading a whole bunch of videos. They got like a year supply so that they can continue their YouTube content. Um, because there is a big possibility that like many predecessors before them, um, that their TikTok will be no more in the United States of America. Leslie, how you doing, baby? Good morning. Blessings. I hope you've slept well. How are you doing? Uh, after this game, I gotta pause. I'm not. I'm not gonna end my live. I just gotta stop. I gotta talk to my my young man and uh, let him know that there's coffee there, or ask him if he wants mama to make him a cup. Or I just I gotta interact with my child. I know I heard his alarm going off, so I don't know if he snoozed it. My big ass mouth probably woke him up. He's probably big mad at me. <laughs> I love him so much. He is my pride and fucking joy. Dude, the conversations that I had with him yesterday, I just, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of the man he is becoming. I'm so proud that he's not afraid to have open discussions with me. And um, even if he doesn't agree with me, how him and I can have like adult rated conversations, you know? 
It's usually about like politics, what's going on in the world, um, our concerns, worries, you know. It's good conversation. With the topics that he discusses, I really wish he would uh, make a YouTube channel. But he also understands with the way that people uh, treat me, he it, it's, it's not worth him putting himself at risk. He sliced me up. See, look, where's Katie Bug? It's a samurai sword. Sugar pine trees? Ooh. The only thing we have, I don't know if we have sugar pine. I think that might be an out west thing. I'm not, I'm not in time. I have to look that in, look into that. I know we have sugar maple here that you can tap and get, make maple syrup from. Fuck you, my guy. Sugar pine trees. Sugar pine. Do you know where that's native to? It's called a Jeffrey Pine? I'm gonna have to look into that. Thank you. I've never even heard of that, honey. And when I say look into it, I'm not gonna go Google it. I have all of my father's um, field guides and nature guides. My goodness, is this game over yet? Yeah, Leslie, Rumble is a slow learn was a slow learn for myself. Um, the only thing I don't like is like even if you click autoplay on videos, at least through the Opera GX browser, it never autoplays videos. And I'm not downloading Brave just to do all that. I'm not a fan of the Brave browser at all, by any means. Alright. Let me back out of this and let me go check to see if my son is up and functioning. Y'all talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'll be right back. Ooh, come on, back out, bro. Back out, man. Oh, I need to stand up anyway. My hips hurt and I might go tinkle real quick. I'm gonna go potty. Be like a two, two to three minute intermission. I'll be right back, y'all. Miss Neville, what are you doing? Oh, please back out so that I... Alright, I'll be right back. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, he is up. He's ready to rock and roll. Well, I didn't get to go potty. And, bitch. Y'all, it ain't even 5.30 in the morning. It ain't even 5.30 in the morning, and he's already, like, he's already in the shower. I don't even have to tell my kid to go to bed. Like, he, like, he should, I'm just so proud of him. I really am. He's gonna be going taking his fucking written driver's exam. Here within the next couple weeks. I'm so excited for him. I'm not excited for my car. It's probably going to get fucking wrecked the fuck up. <laughs> but it's okay. Yes, Miss G has a Rumble account. Give me one second and I will drop the link for you, actually. Um, for anybody that wants... Uh, here, I'll just drop links right now in between this. There's mine. And then I will drop everybody that I follow. Actually, let me do this. Following. I'm going to drop a whole bunch of links for y'all, okay? Um, this isn't anybody that covers Kylie Rodney, but this is, this channel here is not just a Kylie Rodney channel, so, um, this is UFO Hawk. I highly recommend subscribing to that Rumble account. Here is Ninja Chihuahua. Um, here's Miss G. 
Did y'all know that Salisha Singh is, was on Rumble at one point? I'm one of two of her followers. She's never been active on it, though. Never, ever been. That's why I don't get notifications for you. Well, there we go. All right. Turn that off. Instant, instant, instant. What categories are... Dude, there's a lot of channel categories. I did not realize that there was this many gaming categories. Holy hell. So yeah, the way that I'm going to incorporate my YouTube and my, my Rumble account is... Um, I'm going to set it up. At first, I was going to do to where anything that I do on my YouTube channel automatically goes to the Rumble channel. But what I want to do is pick what content from YouTube goes to Rumble. Um, but I am going to start doing specific videos um, exclusive only to Rumble. Simply because the terms of service are quite different between each, um, each platform. It's, it's like trying to get, you know freedom of speech out of a platform like Meta trying to pull a Twitter out of it. You know what I mean? It just, it doesn't. Each, there's no, I can't say that there's no internet laws because there are laws that do protect, it's mostly children. Um, but each company has their own terms of service that you sign up for. You have to abide by their terms of service. Some people think that there's snarky and find loopholes in it. I gotta wait till somebody else types in your presence. I can't. Fry said the harassment. I don't know what that affects her business. Ain't nobody harassing her. Like, they are literally the people coming to our channels. You are coming here and consuming our content. Nobody is asking you to watch it. Nobody. That's a choice that you're making. Like, they really just don't understand freedom of speech, and they try to, like, code it with this bullshit that just isn't to terms of, of service. It's, it's, not, it's not a liability um, to use fair use. And the way that they're trying to strike you in hopes to get your real name, your phone number, or your address, I'm sure an attorney will cover that for you. Oh, Ninja, you, you don't worry about you. You're never late. You just like Miss G comes. You know, you you come here when you're meant to be here. All right, I'm gonna try this guy. I forget which one I just loaded in on, so we're gonna... We'll figure it out! Ooh. Pew! It stuck to him too, bitch! Uh Oh yeah, bro. Get stupid ass. Well, and that's the thing is like, but they're they're targeting people to take them out, and they think that's not a an offense. That's what's insane to me is they they're they have such tunnel vision that they see not what they do. I've done nothing wrong is what they continue to say. Well, guess what? Not by the eyes of the law. I don't know who's putting in their mind that what they're doing has any ling legal base to it, but no, I can assure you that there's legal ramifications that come with what they're doing. I can prove that I have not been to all but one, which is Roasta Doodle, because she kept adding me. I haven't been to any of their channels, not, not one. They're the ones that continue to come to mind. I have proof where Megan came on my panel just months ago and then came back again just weeks ago, came up on my panel thanking me, 
thanking me. Thanking me. Look, and the words she chooses, they speak for themselves. If I'm harassing you, why are you on my channel thanking me? Like, why are you coming to my channel thanking me? For doing the right thing. That's weird as hell. It can't be both. It's one or the other. You can't say somebody is harassing you that doesn't even bother you, that doesn't come to you, that has you blocked on every platform, only for you to make another account, to come into their chat room, to interact with them, to get them to let you on their panel. You did this to yourself. It's time to be accountable. Like, and all they simply had to do was stop doing it. They think that there's justification in what they're doing when people are not bothering them. Oh, you don't like my freedom of speech? Take it up with legislature. Because trust me, one, once I hook this, this, this lawyer up with lots of people, one, that dude's going to be making some fucking bank off of all these dumb people that are wasting their money on all of these, um, I mean, they're not even, they, they don't have a leg to stand on on these copyright strikes once it's all said and done. Um, but once all these people are hooked up with this lawyer, it's game over. Game over. And they're trying really, really hard to put an end to our channels before any of that happens. But the beautiful thing is, is once you go to court, once the proceedings are done, and you can show YouTube that you've won your court case, they'll reinstate your account. I've seen it happen over and over and over and over again. And these people think I'm stupid. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, and that's that's what they do, Miss G. You're harassing me. But then they'll call you and they'll say all these things. Why don't you come up on my panel? You got something to say. Here, here's the, the blink. Come up on my panel. That Look. No, you, you can't do that. That's not how it works. You can't claim somebody's harassing you when you're saying, come on my panel. When you're saying, respond to my video. Why don't you tell me? When you're asking a question and you're telling people to respond to you and then they do, and then you try to somehow like say that, that there's no wrong in that booby trap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing, Ms. G, is like, give YouTube a few days to respond to it, and if they don't respond in a timely manner, take it up with a lawyer. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Right now, I'm, I'm gonna let YouTube do the right thing. I'm gonna give them time to do the right thing. And if I'm not satisfied, th they tell you. If you're not satisfied with our service, and if somebody is doing such and such and stu such, you know, outside of YouTube, yeah, you can lawyer up. Yeah, you can handle it in a quarter law. They recommend you do. <laughs> yeah, and it is a trap to get you there so they can say, see, they come to me. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. All while they're verbally doing it on their very own lives. Like, it's crazy to me. And then you got all these weird ass people that flock to them, the same group of people. Megan does no wrong. Well, Megan, does your dad know what you've been doing? Does your dad really know what you've been up to? Is your dad going to be proud of you when he actually knows that you're lying to him, that you're withholding the information from him on what has really transpired on YouTube? By the sounds of it, by the sounds of what I'm hearing, I mean, the words came out of your mouth. Your dad is coming after you. I mean, your dad's the one that gave you advice 18 months ago. Get off YouTube. Your kids told you. Get off YouTube. Your psychologist told you. Get off YouTube. Your pastor told you. Get off YouTube. The people that actually, at one point, did care for you, um, did have concerns for you, they've all told you. Get off YouTube. You're only making matters worse for yourself. You're doing it to yourself and trying to be a victim. Your kids have said it themselves. Like, it's pretty sad that your kids know better than you. 
Poor Judy. Look how long that that lady put up with that shit and try to fucking maintain that. Look, if I were her dad and I knew my daughter was out on YouTube putting my name out there, putting my profession out there, putting my wife out there, putting my grandchildren out there, you best believe I would make sure that she gets the fuck off YouTube. But she continues to do this. And now that she's done doing all this shit to herself, to her own family, to her own community, now she's trying to blame it on everybody on YouTube. When she is the one that chose to go panel hopping from, uh, let's go, Popcorn Planet, Zav, uh, Ikid Mel, Mine, Aras, all of these fucking panels that she knowingly and willingly went on. And somehow, because of our freedoms, because of our rights, not only through federal laws, but terms of service, she thinks she has the, the, the right to our content to tell us to take it down. Why do you think Zav Girl's videos are still out there? Why do you think Ikid Mel's videos are still out there? Why do you think all these videos are still out there? Because she don't have a leg to stand on or a pot to piss in. These motherfuckers out here just pissing all over themselves. They wonder why they smell like pee pee. They wonder why they smell like caca. And they wonder why they got bugs. You, you, you're literally victimizing yourself in this whole victimhood mentality. And it, it's not working no more, y'all. It's not. I know my rights as a law-abiding citizen. I know my rights through terms of service. Look, they can keep making these fucking shell accounts and making up all this shit or digging in my past, which, I mean, they ran out of... The best thing they had on me was Shan Mods, which I handed to them early on, and they knew about it. Then I addressed it, and then that's the only thing that, we'll just say 12 months later, that they have to fall back on it. Because I have no criminal record. I don't even have a traffic infraction on my record. Out here trying to dig dirt. And then because they can't find dirt on me, then they start to target people that I have helped build up and promote and I support. And y'all think that there's nothing wrong in that? Well, I got, got news for you. It's all about to catch up. That rubber band is on its way to snapping. You just don't, you, ain't, you don't feel it yet. And they want to talk about legal ramifications. Oh, you just, you wait, you wait. 2024 is the year of truth. It's the year of exposure and transparency. And you can't take that from me. You can try, try, try harder to do whatever you're doing on YouTube. Twitter protects me. Elon Musk got me. Um, Rumble's got me. I ain't worried. Look, and the thing it is, is all I want to do is focus on Kylie Rodney, injustices, um, my freedoms of speech, conspiracy theories, video games, and loving the people that love me. You know? Shoot, I love people that don't even love me. And that's fine. Oh, sure, okay. I mean, and I'm noticing, like, the... I mean, even with their elected officials, even with people with status, I see how their 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 records get... their their slate gets wiped clean. But the beautiful thing about the internet is if you dig hard enough, and it's not hard, honestly, it's really not. All you use is duck, duck, go, or use the Wayback Machine, and it's, it's, I found stuff on Phoebe Bell that I was just like, whoa. And that was simply because of some, a comment that was left to Ninja. It's, it's, it's really, it's really like, I don't understand how, 
how how it's so hard for people to sleuth. And then because they lack sleuthing skills, all they do is just make shit up. And let them. Keep on digging. Hi, Andrew. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing, babe? How's your morning, afternoon going so far? Oh, I didn't even know about all that. It's just, I don't... And I don't say this to, to with any malice. I don't have time to look that far into people that I genuinely just do not give a fuck about. Yeah, Phoebe Bell, dude, I'll tell you what, like... And it's crazy to me that the lawsuit that she found herself in, um, how it's slowly been scrubbed from the internet, but also, like, they let her be, like, a leader in mental health. Like, I understand, like, why she's in interested in mental health because of her own child. But at the same time, like, and this isn't, this doesn't apply to her, so don't take it out of context. But it's like a sex offender that has had an offense on a child giving them a slap on the wrist and five years later letting them go back and be around children you know these right i'm saying it. i ain't saying it look and 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 i've 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 just brushed off these people's malicious intent um while staying focused on all of the people that inserted themselves from Megan to SF to Zanime to Red Flag Ronnie to all of these channels that have had panelists on there that have said a lot of stuff around Kylie Rodney's case. It's just, it's odd to me how Megan continued, even after her family, her kids, her parents, her own community told her, stop putting this stuff on the internet. She continued to do it. She went against what people who had her best interest in mind told her. She admitted herself that all these people told her, gave her th this best advice. Like she knowingly continued to do it and then gets upset when people are still, you can't, you're not the internet police. You can't tell me what I can and can't talk about. That's infringing on people's freedoms of speech, which is an offense. It's what Elon Musk and why Elon Musk took over Twitter and has, I mean, he, he has a beautiful platform. And it's just, it's weird to me how these snowflake, spineless, weak people, okay, these people that have this victim mentality come out and do some of the most deplorable things on the internet and then when somebody claps back at them they want to say you guys look look what they're doing to me it's all them meanwhile the whole time it's been you 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 have some fucking accountability fucking spineless ass people dude Like, and I realize, like, you can't blame the, the parents when these people are grown-ass adults. When you're 40-some years old and you've never in your life had anybody hold you accountable. Not even yourself, okay? You cannot blame your, your upbringing on your parents when you're a grown-ass adult making your own adult-ass decisions. And yeah, from, from what I've read, um, Jeff was a good guy. If he were still here, God rest his soul, I'm sure he would be telling his sister, look, you should probably get off the internet. You've said enough. 
she's the one that said herself over and over and over again all of her little little frenemies have said the same thing once it's on the internet it stays on the internet yes yes it does like they can't even be accountable in the own, their own words that they've put out there you're right once it's on the internet it it they're forever and they think that they can threaten you and intimidate you into taking this stuff down because they they don't want people to see who they truly are no nah. 2024 is the year of truth if you don't like the way people have written about you maybe you should have been better people there's a thought change starts with self there is nothing in my life that i'm ashamed of there is nothing in my life that people are going to dig up on me that i'm just going to fall into shambles it's crazy as hell people crazy as hell it's funny it's free cartoons free circus all aboard hi mom first how you doing honey how's your morning going yo i can't believe it's almost six o'clock already What I might do, oh, uh, because I, I want to play some, some more video games, but also I need to get off my ass. I'm going to play one more round. Um, I'm going to play... Let's try this one. I'm going to play one more game. I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to spend um, the next almost hour, 45 minutes, um, see if he wants breakfast, because some mornings he just, not nah, mom, I don't want it, or I'll go to school and have something. See if he wants some coffee see if there's anything that he needs make sure he's good i want to see uh what part of the property he wants to go to to watch the solar eclipse later today he'll probably want to go up on the the mountain which is still technically the property here so wow this is later or early what do you mean mom first it's live it's 5.46 in the morning. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop off here after this game. I'm going to do the fee thing. And then I'm going to eat something myself. Um, and in here shortly, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe 8 o'clock, I'm not sure. Somewhere around there, 7.30. Um, I'll go live again. I'm going to play a little bit more video games. Because, uh, I'd rather play video games than, um, be an adult right now. I said it. The only thing I really need to do, um, up until the eclipse is done because i need to focus on making some some videos is um any of the kylie content that is on this channel i'm going to remove it and i'm going to upload it on squirrels on fire and then i'm gonna just strictly make this a review slash gaming channel Ooh. wow dude i'm sucking did you get up or not go to sleep? I went to bed super early last night and I woke up super early. Thank you for asking. It was a really, really good sleep. Are you just waking, honey? <laughs> One shot, dude. Ooh, so this gun, if I tap, 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 it shoots better. That's what's up, dude. I did not know that. All right, I get it now. Oh, shit. Lay down. Oh, too late. Oh, you've been up all night? Is that what you're saying? That dude's using that Renati or whatever it's called. Renati. Why can't I pick this up, though? 
Why can't I pick that up? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, this dude already came through here. Oh, you can't sleep. You want me to read you a little bedtime story? You talking FB? CB? Or community? Let me know and you know I'll look. You know I'll look. There was uh, an Eclipse video that I think, I can't, I think, I can't remember if Ara posted it to us. Yeah, it was, it was Ara. It was Ara. But it was a really well done video. She's a brilliant mind too. I just, I absolutely love each and every one of you. snipe him okay all right cool that's what's up well I, mom first honestly i would have slept longer all i did was got up i got a glass of water and i was gonna go potty but then nova was like oh, mom is up let's play and that's why mom didn't go back to sleep i love my little nova though but yeah she don't ever like wake me up unless she needs to go potty And the way that she wakes me up is tap, 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 tap her little tail <laughs> on my door. I love it. <clears throat> or a wall or whatever makes the tap, tap, tap noise. I love it. She's so smart. I love when I uh, take her down the sidewalk or down the yard. And if I'll, I'll test, every once in a while I'll test her. Um, I'll walk back into the entryway and she won't see me. And she literally turns around and she just waits and waits and waits until I come out and tell her, go potty, go ahead, go poop. Then, then and only then, that's why I say my dog poops on command, because she really does. I love it. Shit on demand. Alright, why is this a little nook in here? This is a dumb place to be, dude. This is a real dumb place to be, actually. Stupid! Oh shit. I didn't zap myself. It's funny. Mama making a comeback now, she's focused. strike on us 17 yeah I I can see why your dog can't hold it what <laughs> my cat harasses me look as soon as Phoenix opens his bedroom door like that my cat the, his cat is a lot like some of these youtubers out there Look, when Nova, <laughs> it's so funny, when Nova, I'll give her a, a bowl of food, the cat will literally chew on her ankles, like, it's funny as hell, <laughs> it's funny as hell. Nova's been really upsetting Brubby lately, though, <clears throat> like, he's been giving, going, going to give the cats treats. And, um, Nova will go in and steal the treat. Oh, shit. Cats, dogs, and coyotes. Yeah, I really wish Nova would stop stealing the, the cat treats, because it gives her fucking diarrhea. But yeah, no, no, it gets harassed too. 
But she can hold her own too, so it's, it's all good. Sometimes you just gotta show people and things um, in which direction they can fuck off. If they wanna still engage, it says more about you than it will ever mean. It, that kind of does suck though, CB. Especially when you're just dozing off. Or you've just been outside. And they're like, but wait, there's more. Oh. Your cat doesn't understand treats, really? Shoot. As soon as my my cat hears a fucking I can't even say my cat's Phoenix cat. As soon as Phoenix's cat uh hears a bag rattle, it's, it's game over. She wants him. Yeah, just just keep an eye out for me to go live again. I don't know if I might take a nap. I don't know. I might be wide wide awake again by the time that comes. But yeah, if I don't if I don't go back to sleep, I'll definitely go live again, play a little more pew pews, hang out with y'all. I do hope the majority of you that are in here that have not slept yet or have only gotten half sleeps find yourself some sleepy dreams. But with that said, I'm gonna let y'all finish up chit chatting and I'm gonna hop off here. I'm gonna back out of this. Yeah, it's five fifty five. Ooh, I like that number. Let me back that up. No, back up. I'm probably not going to take a nap, though, because as soon as Phoenix is on the bus, I got to run to the show real, real quick. I know I said I wouldn't go anywhere today, but I'm trying to go before, like, you know, as the doors are opening. Not too far, but... And then again, I, you know, I could just wait till tomorrow or the next day. I really don't need to go anywhere today. Hi, Miss Silva. You need to go outside again. Oh, but you need to go potty. Then go outside. Do you want to get a bath today? And get your nails so done? Make and paint them? Make them look so pretty? Hmm? You know what your nails done today? You want to get a bath? Hmm? Yes, have a safe day. Have a blessed one. If I don't see you again, um, it's Monday. So, uh, once Fee is... In bed for the night. You know how we do. We will be live over at Squirrels on Fire to have a Kylie Rodney discussion. Um, what I want to to ask questions. I would like people to interact, come on panel, interact and chat. Um, we're going to talk about this shh picture and this sleepy picture. I would like law enforcement to address it. Um, they don't want to answer any questions, which is really odd. I would like for, you know, them to address, like, why it even exists. So, I'll just put it this way. It is almost 6 o'clock in the morning here now. Um, let me do a couple few things, whatever have you. Um, I will come back live on this channel, do another gaming just like we've done. Um, this morning, I'll come back. And then tonight between i'm just gonna shoot and say 9 p.m 10 p.m eastern standard time i will be going live on scrolls on fire but with that said i love you all so very much please get some sleep and i will either see you here shortly or i will see you later tonight if i don't please please have a safe safe day today if you are going out to watch the eclipse, please make sure you're wearing the proper protective glasses. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. See you shortly.